Good morning, guys, and welcome to another review from me, Matt, the Bitter Berserker. Hope you're having a fantastic day, even though we're on lockdown, wherever you are in the world, whatever you've been getting up to, to try and keep yourselves amused and occupied and feel like you're not living in a prison. But welcome, guys, to another review from me, Matt, the Bearded Berserker. Before I start, thank you so, so much to each and every single one of you guys out there that's following me over there on Instagram and watching, liking, and subscribing to my channel here on my Bearded Berserker YouTube channel, where I'm working my hardest to try and help, promote, support only small brands, individuals, and craftsmen out there that are making some amazing, amazing products, whatever it might be. Now, with all the reviews that I do on my channel, stuff that I go out and buy myself, stuff that gets sent through, all of my reviews always have been and always will be completely honest. Everything I do is my own opinion, and I am completely unbiased. So if there's a reason why I like a product, I'll say constructively why I like it. If there's a reason why I don't like a product, equally constructively, I will say reasons why I do not like it. As with all the reviews I do, links will be down below in that there description box, so please give them some help, support and a follow, because I do prefer smaller brands, individuals and craftsmen, as opposed to these huge, massive, faceless brands that just pump out their stuff from factories, and they've got no real care, sort of passion about what they're doing, it's all about the money, where these smaller brands, because they don't have huge budgets to throw into marketing and promoting and advertising their products that these massive brands do have. They often take to social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and everything else in order to promote and advertise their products. So I'm here showing you guys that there is an alternative to huge massive shop stuff, factory made stuff and everything with these smaller brands. Now, Thank you, like I say, for all the support that I'm getting over there on Instagram and here on my Bearded Berserker channel. I do want to keep it going, uh, this channel. It is ridiculously hard work um, to the point that you put out sort of 20 messages, maybe more a day, and you either get no response or negativity back. Oh, you've not got enough followers and stuff, and I've been doing this for about two years now. And it's kind of getting to the point that it's really started to grate with me when all I'm trying to do is actually help. And especially over this lockdown period, I've kind of been scratching my head going, well, do I keep it going? Because what is annoying is I'm trying to support others and kind of like not really getting the support back, if that makes sense with you, because I'm getting tired with this whole thing about, oh, if you want to be an influencer and it's like, I don't want to be an influencer, I'm trying to help. And a lot of people see it as, oh, you just want free stuff and everything else like that. And when we're not in lockdown, I work full time. I work my bloody ass off doing my Instagram and YouTube. Also work bloody hard in my full time job. The other half works full time. And it's like, once the bills are paid and everything, we have our own money to go out and buy stuff. So it's not about free stuff. And people always kind of like assume that that you're just getting stuff in to kind of like, oh, it's a freebie, it's a freebie. And it, it isn't about that at all, because if that's what people are thinking, then I will quite happily shut this down straight away right now after this video. And it does kind of great when you do send out a genuine message because you come across something on Instagram and you think, that is really smart. I'd love to help, try and help and promote them and support them. And you just get, no, not interested. You've not got enough followers. You've not got enough views and everything and I've got 600 uh, subscribers here on my YouTube channel and six seven thousand over there on Instagram and it's so easy nowadays to use these sort of like secondary sites and everything to go out and buy viewers subscribers followers and everything else like that whereas I know that each and every single one of you guys out there that supported me is actually a genuine person and not just some sort of made up gen, uh, sort of generated number. So it is grating on me a bit now um, when all I wanted to do was help and support. But that is by the by. And today's review has been very, very kindly sent through to me by Odin's Beard Care from Yorkshire here in the UK. Done a review for them before and Interestingly enough, when I do give a negative comment, it is nice to see when a brand kind of like 
switches things up or takes it into consideration because the original two beard oils that I did review for them, um, they were 50 ml bottles. They had the kind of like tippy tippy uh, spouts in there, which has been changed because I did say that, I, whether it was down to me or whatever, um, that I'm not overly keen on that because when I tend to use them, it just goes everywhere or it doesn't come out. Whereas I like to measure, because of my length of my beard now, I've only had it trimmed twice in a couple of years. Um, I tend to use 10 to 12 drops daily, uh, maybe a couple in the evening just to rehydrate my skin and put some oils into my skin and everything. So they have been replaced, even though these are 30 ml bottles by these rubber pipettes. So first of all, we're going to be looking at the packaging. Then we're going to be looking at the product. Then we're going to score them out of 20. 20 being absolutely fantastic. 10 being yeah, mediocre, nothing to write home about. Zero, I wouldn't touch it with a stinky stick. And I know a lot of these small brands, individuals, craftsmen, etc., out there are having hard times at the moment, especially with all this lockdown and coronavirus malarkey going off. Um, so here we go. So inside was a letter. This is a letter. And I do like receiving these handwritten letters when I do reviews and stuff because it just shows that people are interested in what they're doing and caring about what they're doing as opposed to, there you go, there's a product, see what you think of them, blah. Hey Matt, hope you're well in these uncertain times. Yeah, not too bad, cheers. Um, awesome to see the channel growing. I uh, thought I'd give you some beard mail to review. And with stuff like this, I tend not as such to do unboxings, openings and stuff like that because I'd like to leave it a few days to try a product, see what a product's like, get to know it as opposed to just unbox it and go, smells all right, looks all right because um, you never know what problems and stuff you could have so I always give a certain amount of time before I do a review. Also can you give a shout out to my loyal customers who have supported me the past 12 months and even through this crisis. There you go, shout out to all his loyal customers and people that have supported him over the past 12 months um, even through the crisis. And that's the thing now with beard products, they are such a huge massive massive market out there you know billions of pounds being spent on beer products, skin products, hair products for men now. And so it must be really difficult for these people that are creating and making their own products. So we need to support the small brands we possibly can. So you send through a couple of beard oils for me to have a look at, see what I think of, give you guys my honest opinion, and also one of these beard butters that they've just started doing. So the same with the two beard oils and the balms that I reviewed beforehand. The logos and graphics have stayed exactly the same, kind of like these um, sort of arty, cartoony style um, Viking gods, Norse mythology and everything like that, which is nice to see. I do. It's nice to see something different, you know. You do get tired of seeing the same silhouette of a beard and sunglasses on beard products and everything. So it's nice when people do look outside the box and create something different. So packaging wise, love the packaging, love the colours on the front. Nice to see something different. These are in brown glass amber bottles. That is a brown glass amber bottle. The reason that a lot of beard products, oils especially, come in these is it stops UV rays getting in there, damaging, breaking down and degrading all the oils. Like I say, nice to see these rubber pipettes on the top uh, so you can measure out exactly what you need. <coughs> so first one we're going to be looking at is Tear, Odin's Beard Care. Um, it's got directions, warning, may contain nut oils, discontinue if irritation occurs, 30ml bottles, ingredients on the side, which is always good to see, um, address as well, and ingredients on these Ah, fractionated coconut oil, argan oil, jojoba oil if you're common, or jojoba oil if you're posh. Also got vitamin E and essential oils in there as well. 30 mil. Uh, I've got one of these sort of like Dr. Clicky things on there as well. So if you are a kid and everything, they just spin. They've got to push down, give it a bit of force to open it. And scent allegedly on this one is lemon, eucalyptus, cinnamon, birch tar and rosemary. I have used them, tried them, so I know exactly what they smell like. And people are saying to me, why don't you smell the oil in the bottle? It's because I found with 99% of beard oils that I've reviewed, the smell from the bottle smells a lot more different 
than when you start generating some heat through on your hand. It's the same as cooking. You take a joint of meat out from the freezer or fridge. doesn't really smell. Once you start cooking it, generating heat through it, it starts cooking, you start smelling it. So I don't smell the beard oil from the bottle because I don't put it straight on from the beard, uh, from the bottle. I have seen people dripping it into the beers and stuff like that. I put it through my hands, rub it through into my hands, making sure it's in the creases, run it into my skin, then through the rest of it through the beard and everything. So that does change the scent dramatically. Um, with also all beer products in the UK and Europe do need to have a CPSR check done on them, Cosmetic Product Safety Report. And basically that ensures that there's nothing dangerous in there that could mess your face up, which the last thing you want to do, slather yourself in beard oil and balm and then suddenly have a breakout. Always recommended do a test patch first, give it 12, 24 hours to make sure you don't have an allergic reaction and everything. So always make sure you do that first because you can have an allergic reaction to just about anything in life now. And so putting a few drops on this, on the hand, um, pale yellow in colour. Medium viscosity is not ridiculously runny and it's not ridiculously thick. Generate some heat through it. <sighs> Definitely getting a lemon and I do have my scent scale down here. Very, very subtle, medium, rip your head off, smack it with an ax and knock it into next week. Luckily with this, when I heard the cinnamon that was in there, cinnamon is kind of one of those dodgy scents that can literally overpower and ruin everything, unless it's just a cinnamon scent. It's quite an easy, relaxed smell, I would say, on the scale of things. It's possibly around about here. Not quite irregular, not very subtle. It's kind of working its way up to halfway. Definitely smelling the lemon. The eucalyptus isn't overpowering. The cinnamon isn't overpowering. You can definitely smell the rosemary in there. Birch tar is definitely there too. And it's kind of quite a nice, well-rounded scent. It's not my personal favorite one that I've reviewed for Odin Beard Care, but again, it's a good scent. So I can't moan about it, can't complain. I've had no issues at all with any of the products at all with itchiness, redness, dry skin, clumps of beard hair falling out and everything. So it's a well put together scent. And with this one, you tend to get different sort of levels that one will drop down, then the cinnamon will pick up and everything. So it's always continuously changing. Even already that sort of um, hit from the lemon and the sort of eucalyptus is dropping back a bit and then you're getting the birch tar and the rosemary. Does work extremely well with a citrus balm as well, or a vanilla balm, because I use a beard oil and a balm at the same time, or beard oil and beard butter. Easily absorbed in the skin, nice scent. Yeah, it's quite a nice, gentle, easy going, quite floral, not spicy as such, not overpowering that the eucalyptus and cinnamon could have been. Nicely well blended and Quite a nice round sort of scent. Quite a good autumn sort of wintery scent as well, especially if you put it in with spiced orange. It would also work extremely well with a vanilla scent, like I said. Um, I possibly wouldn't go with a cinnamon scent, even though it's got cinnamon in there. But yeah, it's okay. Making sure that scent's gone off from the hand because I don't want to contaminate the next one. Cross-contamination. But yeah, same sort of usual um, base oils in there, carrier oils, fractionated coconut oil, argan oil, jojoba oil, and your vitamin E and essential oils. And moving on to the Heindel, or Heindel, however you want to pronounce it. It's just about gone, give it another couple of seconds. It's quite disturbing, isn't it? Right, so this one, the Heindel is, or Heindel, is allegedly spiced vanilla, amber, aged honey, tobacco, musk, and sandalwood. Again, pale yellow liquid oil. It's got exactly the same carrier oils in it. Put a few drops into my hand. Not smelling it from the bottle. Generate some heat. 
This one, I have to admit, has to possibly be one of my favourite scents that I've tried so far from Odin Beard Care. There is a hint, almost like a spiced orange in there, but I think that's the tobacco. Now, unfortunately for me, because we're all, it's, this is my opinion, you know, when you get a scent that you really, really like, I want it to be potent. Um, when I done a collaboration last year with Barber's Bay for the Nordic Blend Beard Oil and Balm, I, one of the sort of like things that I said to Barber's Bay, um, <coughs> excuse me, still a stupid tickly cough, was I wanted a knockout scent, you know. I want, if you get that scent that you really, really like, you really, really enjoy, I want it to be as potent as possible and lasting as long as possible. And I know that obviously beard brands and companies, they do the sort, tend to do the medium ones that everything's along the same sort of line, not too strong, not too weak. This is one of those scents that's really, really nice. You can smell the spiced vanilla, um, amber, maybe not the honey, you can definitely smell uh, the tobacco, musk and sandalwood you can smell in there. It is a really, really nice scent, but I would love to see a more potent, stronger smell on this because it's a really, really nice one. Again, it would go very well with a citrus scent that would cut through the sweetness. Also, it would go very well with a cinnamon balm. Um, it would also go well with a coffee as well because it's almost kind of like a spice sort of latte sort of smell, especially with the honey in there and the vanilla. That would go really well with a coffee balm. And remember with beard oils and balms, don't necessarily always buy the corresponding balm to the oil because you can switch it up, move them around, create your own scents with it, which is what I tend to do as well. Also, I've been known to mix oils together to create different scents. When I've got a little bit left in a bottle, I'll mix it with another good one in order to make my own scent from it. It's really, really nice. Um, on average, these are lasting around about the three and a half to four hour mark before I can't really smell them anymore. Um, other half has told me that she can still smell it longer than that, which is fine because obviously you get used to scents and everything. But out of all the scents so far that I've tried from Odin Beard Care, the Heindel Heindel has to be my favourite. I love the spiced vanilla in there that you can smell, the honey, the tobacco, the musk and the sandalwood, the amber, or the aged honey, but the amber, maybe not so much smell in there, but it is a really, really nice smell. Would just love to see it personally for myself knock your head off into next week prices on these at the moment there's a sale going on should be 9.99 for a 30 mil they've now dropped to £8.99 is it worth £8.99 we will find out at the end and also started doing some beard butters this one is called Mountaineer um, on the website there was no actual there's the Valkyrie beard butter but not the uh, mountaineer one so I've had to kind of work out the scent for myself this comes in I think this is a 60 mil pot tub um, this is brown amber yeah brown amber glass twist top as well these tubs are always useful as well because handy once you've used them for upcycling and putting screws pins and all sorts of bits and pieces in ingredients wise again listed on here um, Shea butter, shea butter, mango butter, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, castor oil, and beeswax. Written on the side. <laughs> Again, nice logo on that. Nice to see something different in keeping with the whole Viking theme, which, as you know, I love. It's got the old sort of Celtic uh, not work and stuff in there. And the actual butter itself, it's whipped butter. Um, it actually looks like it's been piped in there. And I'm going to put a bit in my hand. Beard butter is one of those funny ones because I would use a beard butter and a beard balm or beard oil and beard balm. I wouldn't necessarily use a beard oil and beard butter because they pretty much do the same sort of thing. It does, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? It does kind of melt in your hand very easily. The scent on this is a bit more potent than the two oils. In your bed, Roxy. Typical dogs barking the head off. This is kind of if you can imagine walking through a forest and mountain, it's got that sort of scent to it. 
It's got a floralness to the scent as well. It's not overly greasy that some butters can be. It's almost got like a colony barbershop hint to it, as well as this kind of like foresty mountain herbally thing going on. It's really nice, it feels really thick. Um, not too over greasy, I have used this. Um, it's really great for tattoos and skin as well, which is predominantly the main reason why I use beard oils and balms and butters because it's about the skin, putting oils back into the skin and helping to condition the beard and everything because as your beard grows, it pulls out the oils from your skin. It's, it's nice. It's a nice one. The scent on this, for me, again, is lasting around about the four hours mark and it's a good all-round beard butter. I've tried quite a few butters in my years of doing this. Um, it's a good one. Nice scent to it. Nice scent, good product. Does what it says on the tin. And price on this is coming at £13.99. Bearing in much you don't use as much as I put on my finger um, to test it. I would literally use that on my beard, which transferred to my hand is roughly around about that. So probably about half a fingernail to a whole fingernail's worth on your hand. And like I say, it does emulsify, break down and melt very, very quickly. It doesn't feel grainy or anything, so it's super smooth. Nice product. It does have that, like I say, that initial hit, kind of colony, barbershoppy sort of scent to it. I was expecting more woody, alpine-y, um, mountain range and forests and floralness to it, which it has got. Um, but it's just a very nice clean scent, almost like a cologne. Um, and price on that is $13.99. So it now comes down to scoring them out of 20. Top of the product has to be the Hindle. Um, One of my favourite scents. This one is, um, personal opinion, in, in for what I would like, because it's such a knockout scent, I'd love, to be, I'd love it to be really potent and really strong. So I'm going to score it. 19 out of 20. Second of all, the tier. It's okay. It's good. It's not my personal favourite one of the range. So I'm going to score this, even though it's exactly the same quality as the other one, I'm going to score this 17 out of 20. The beard butter is good. Um, be very interested to hear the description that he puts on the website corresponding to this and um, see whether I sort of picked up the right sort of scents that are in there and everything. Again, it's a good product. I'm scoring this quite happily an 18 out of 20 as well. Really good product. And thank you so, so much to Daniel. Sorry, Darren even. Duh, got my D's mixed up. Uh, to Darren for sending this through. Really, really nice product. Favourite one has to be, dropping it all over the place, this one. Um, like I say, just, oh, if that was a really potent strength scent, and that'd be absolutely stunning. That'd be one of my all-time all -time favourite beard oils. Absolutely amazing work from Darren. Please show him some support, help, and give him a follow. Thank you so, so much for sending those through. And thank you guys to each and every single one of you out there that's watching my videos, liking my videos, commenting on them, subscribing on them to them, to my channel. If that makes sense. Uh, because without you guys, I would not be here. I do want to keep this channel going. So if there is anybody out there that needs any help, support whatsoever, please get in touch with me. It's not just beer products here that I do. It's all sorts of bits and pieces. Would love to hear from you guys and... Thank you so, so much. That's all I can say. Have a great day. Thank you so much to Darren for sending these through for me to have a look at. I wish you all the success. Have a great day wherever you are, probably indoors, looking outside like some sort of caged animal. Thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you, hopefully, in the next review from me, Matt. The Bearded Berserker. Have a great one, guys. Thank you.